Hello. Let me show you the new contextual capture as part of the point 16 release of the desktop app. Now this functionality is quite powerful, but it is only available on macOS for now. Now let's look at how to activate this functionality. You will go to settings, then to integrations, and then you will go to contextual capture. And when then you would enable contextual capture. Now you can see that it doesn't do anything when you just enable it. What you need to do is actually interact with the dashboard uh, to actually trigger the missing permission. So let's say that you go to your browser uh, and you're just going to press the control space hotkey. Now what's going to happen is this. I'm going to have a pop-up saying I need accessibility feature. It's just to basically copy text. So do not worry, nothing uh, crazy is being done. You would just click this and then click here, probably enter your password and then uh, you would be good. Except that now you have another pop-up saying routine needs access to the uh, contextual uh, information for uh, Google Chrome. So that pop-up you would have for every browser, Firefox, Arc, whatever you are using. Now what's happening now that it actually opens is that you can see something happening, which is that you've got Google with an icon uh, being displayed. That is the contextual capture. Basically on your browser, wherever you go to a website, and let's say you go to Bill Gates, which maybe I want to hire or something like this, you would open his profile and actually all you would have to do is open the dashboard and it would actually detect that it is coming from LinkedIn and it would offer a title for the task or the note or even bullet points and names and text. Obviously you could say, well, I want very specifically this to be written Bill Gates properly uh, and you could do that and it would still allow you to save the context, that's what we call it, the context, which is the five icon and the, um, the link. So if I were to create a task like this, it would actually show up in my inbox with a nice icon here, which I can click to be brought back to uh, the URL more specifically. Now, the same is true with text. You could say, you know what, I want to save more specifically this uh, part of the text and you would open and as you can see the text would be highlighted or the text highlighted would be offered to again create uh, any other uh, information to so a task a note or whatever okay now if you actually save it as a note just keep in mind that it's going to show like this so as a note if you open it it will be the text and at the at the end you will have the source which is the link to again go back to the context now the, the same is uh, true for other apps. It's not just your browser. So if you were to use this on Apple Notes, even Spotify, Discord, or Slack, for instance, it's going to work the same with some uh, differences. So let's say that I want to go to bug report and I want to pick something like this uh, to remember that I need to do something and I'm going to open the dashboard and same thing, it is going to keep not only the text selected, but also it's displaying that it's coming from Slack with the icon. So if I save it and I go back, you will see that you have a nice icon here with the text selected. Now keep in mind that not all apps provide us with a link to go specifically back to the saved item. So most often, uh, at best, we can reopen the app and that's it. Uh, but uh, sometimes for the browser in particular, like this one, we can actually reopen the URL, which is obviously very powerful. Now, as you might have seen, we also uh, uh, enhanced the existing console to allow to create notes, but also manually. So you could actually type something, now do shift enter to actually move to, into multi-line, and that allows you to create a note uh, directly. Very, very handy if you want to not create a task, but a note as you can see here. Finally, something which is quite interesting is that you can actually bypass the Gmail integration, which is not yet available to the general public. I know it's annoying, but it's going to come. You can use the contextual capture 
to save your emails, for instance. So here you could say, this email I want to save, you open the dashboard, is going to recognize same thing that it is coming from Gmail. And you could say, okay, I'm going to save it as a task. And likewise, you are going to have this with the link to come back to the email in question. Now, just know that all of those functionalities work with all the previous functionalities. So you can very much create a task like this one, and you could say, Bill Gates uh, tomorrow, because you want to plan it, you have the, you see that the, the actions are slightly different now, they are reduced, but you could also say, I want to actually organize this in candidates slash leads. And that way you can actually save this in your notes, either without the context or with the context but that is for you to decide. If I were to do this, and then I go back to my notes and my pages, you can see that now in candidates, I've got the task, which is planned for tomorrow, which has the context as well. That's basically it. This functionality is soon going to be expanded uh, to allow you to not only create task notes, but also other objects, other types of objects. This is coming very soon and it will be really a new chapter in uh, uh, what we have planned for routine. Thank you.